Hey everybody, this is video one of a two-part video series about developing my A7 massive EDF. So a little bit of backstory about me. I'm obsessed with giant scale aircraft. If it's not 100 inches or more, I don't like it. So about this A7, basically I need a 174 millimeter ducted fan and they don't exist. And I did some figuring and three 90 millimeters would give me the thrust I need. Well, we all know I'm going to lose all kinds of efficiency. So my test here is developing this ducting system and see if I can get the efficiency of just three 90 millimeters. But my testing is going to start with 64 millimeters. So in Fusion 360, I designed this ducting, 3D printed a mock-up, and I'm going to be testing it with four 64 millimeter EDFs. But before I start with that, I want to get some baseline testing and measuring. So I made these tubes right here and I made three of them. Actually, I made four, but I'm only using three of the experiments here. And I'm gonna measure their efficiency so I have something to go against as I start to develop the full-blown system. So let's jump in here and look at the first test. So as you can see, I got 39.1 ounces of thrust at the max. This had a bell mouth mount on the front of it, and it's just a baseline test. Let's see what the test is like without the bell mouth. It's incredible the efficiency I lost not having the bell mouth on the front of the EDF. So I'm learning a lot here. We're going to go to the next tube I designed, which has a little bit different measurements and see what we get. What's cool about this test is the exhaust diameter was a little bit less. So you see my thrust went down, my amps went up, and I'll talk about the exit velocity at the end of the video. Once again, you can see the efficiency went way down, removing the bell mouth off the front of the ducted tubing. And uh, it's pretty much a norm with the other test that did not have a bell mouth. Now let's look at this test. This test was way cool because I moved the fan 90 degrees down the ducting and uh, still had good thrust of 38.3 ounces. The amps looked good and I was really pleased with this. I 
I found this extremely interesting as my thrust was still pretty high even without the bell mouth. So mounting the fan down the duct really did make a big difference as far as efficiency. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the test units and I've collected a ton of data so I feel really good that I understand the maximum thrust I can get out of these 64 millimeter fans. What that's going to tell me is so when I put them into the four fan unit, I'm going to be able to measure how much efficiency I truly lost, which is going to be a lot. Okay, the haters have already come out, told me I'm an idiot, a poser, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm wasting my time, and that's fine. I've heard them for 20 years, and most of the time they're wrong. But what I'm trying to do is get between 60 and 70 percent of the efficiency of four units. Okay, I know I'm going to have to probably change the intake. intake uh, cubic volume. I know there's going to be different things I got to do. I'm going to test it first with just the four units with the exhaust shroud and the exhaust tube and just start measuring thrust and velocities and then I'll start putting the front tubes on like this right here. Now I can go wider inside the fuselage. I just can't go much taller and still get all the systems to fit in the fuselage. So fingers crossed I'm going to get that figured out. I'm also playing with different ways to try to get the air to calm down inside the tubes too. Um, however, I think that's just going to kill efficiency because any drag inside the tube is just going to be horrible. Fingers are crossed, and I know the haters are all going to come out and just tell me how much of a you know a poser I am or you know how wrong I am. But hey, it's my time, it's my money, and I'm learning a lot. So stay tuned for part two. I hope to have it up in the next three weeks. The reason that didn't happen this time is because I had two of my ESCs acting up. I've got it fixed now. I understand what my problem was and I should be able to get testing going but I've got to get three other projects out of my way. I've got a family and I've got a full time job. So thanks a lot everybody for watching this and for the haters just sit back and just relax, calm down and shut up. Rock on. You didn't think I was going to end the video without letting you see the four fan unit mock up run a little bit. Keep in mind this was a failed test as two ESCs were acting up. Strange thing was I had little thrust but had extremely high exit velocity out the tailpipe, so I'll have to figure that out. Rock on.